Hello everybody, this is Mr. Clifton, and we're back playing some backyard baseball. Today we will be taking on the Red Sox. And um, it seems kind of fitting because I'm in Boston and the Red Sox are actually playing tonight. I don't know what the current score is. I may just look that up in a moment here. But let us get started. So, I've, uh, I had a very nice productive week, uh, last week, the first week back in my, uh, position, um, at, at the company that I was working for last summer, and, uh, I, uh, had a nice time, you know, just got some nice work done, and, uh, put in some good hours, then I, uh, went to see my aunt, actually, um, the, the over the weekend, and uh, saw her and my uncle's first, well, second daughter turn one, actually. And uh, that was really pretty cool. Um, so I got to spend time with them. Uh, and also my grandparents, they came down to visit. Uh, well, actually, they went up to visit, I guess. So that it was, I mean, it was a cool thing. Uh, and I did check out the Boston score. Uh, it is currently 2-1. Uh, with the Philadelphia Phillies leading, which, I mean, they're in the, the top of the ninth, so that's not really particularly looking too good, and um, it's kind of surprising, because I believe the Phillies are typically terrible, which they may not be recent, they, be, they may not be now, um, that could just be a, a, a complete lie, uh, that, like, they, they could be doing some, some pretty nice work this season, but who knows, I, I all I know is that typically... And they're not the Phillies, no. they're the Pirates. I mean, wait, well, how is that a strike? Um, whatever. Anyway, the, 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 the Pittsburgh Pirates, I think that's... Wait, is that who they were playing? I'm confused now. I, I saw a P. Um, no, they're not playing Pittsburgh. They're, they're playing Philadelphia. And, wait, the, so the Philly... Yeah, they're, yeah, they're playing the Philadelphia Phillies. Okay, I was right the first time. Then I got off track and wrong. And guess what? Dude, you gonna be out. <laughs> no hit for Mr. Speed. Oh, and apparently the Phillies scored again. So, yeah, the, the Red Sox are probably gonna lose in real life, just as they will in this game. And I'll probably go ahead and record the uh, entirety of this game tonight. I'm actually recording this on Tuesday night before I put the video up. It's the 28th. I'm gonna put this one up on the 29th. And the next one will be next week, but it will essentially contain the events of the 28th for the Red Sox in real life, and also in this game. Because as you can see, the Red Sox are not having a good time right now. Of course, granted, I didn't either in the, uh, the top of the first, but uh, I do believe that we will see some better times in the near future. That is being, that has, I was going to say, like, that being said, let us continue to dominate and possibly strike this out, and then I chipped over my tongue, and that was a ball. Come on, Kenny. Just put it right down into the corner, and that was a ball. It was supposed to be a little bit higher than that. So, instead, how about we slow ball it right, there we go, there's a nice strikeout for you. Anyway, now we're up with Jacinda, or not Jacinda, Keisha. I don't know why I just said Jacinda. Anyway, not particularly a great start, but we can handle it. Um, so I do actually, like, for one of the, the few times, um, that was way late for me. But anyway, that was late. Um, okay, I'm... I'm seeing, like, kind of double entendres in my... Oh, gosh, that was just a terrible... Uh, that was a terrible, I bet. I'm sorry, Keisha. I am very sorry. But, um, anyway, I, I see a lot of double entendres in my words, and that was very early, so now I'm just going all over the place. But, um, well, before I get into too much of my ramblings, uh, I'd like to, you know, say that I, for once time... Or, like for once do actually have a little list of talking points um, 
it wasn't particularly like I, I decided I needed them. I mean, I think that I can kind of ad-lib fairly well. It was more so in, whoa, Jacinda is, wait, she was so fast. How was she that fast? That was like insane. She was like bolting. That seemed like she was way too quick for normal. And Pablo was way too slow for normal. And that is a failure of a ball. Uh, maybe this game is glitching all of a sudden. I don't know. But I do know that I'm on base and that Ahmed is up to bat and he's going to hit that and that's going to be a pop fly. No, not a pop fly, but it's probably going to be an out. Yeah, it is. And see, she just send is just so fast. That's not normal. That is very not normal. Anyway, um, but so back to my whole talking points list. I, I do have a list of talking points that I kind of wanted, I, like, I wanted to talk about these things. It was, of, like I said, not out of necessity that I made the list, but rather it's out of, um, more, the like, personal interest, and I'm adjusting my pop filter, trying to get it to better, because I, I th oh, well, I was just not even looking at the screen there, but, uh, I think my, uh, mic stand kind of slid down a little bit and so I wasn't particularly watching and I'm kind of watching right now to see if it is actually sliding and I don't think it is anymore so I think I'm good but it was lower than I thought and that's ball good didn't want to get a backwards K there that's when you s I mean I'm, I'm assuming you, you well I don't know if you would know that or not but it's the, you get a backwards K if you strike out looking I learned that Kind of recently, and there's another three down, and uh, not going too well for me right now. Um, granted, it's not going too well for the Red Sox either, in real life or in this game. Um, let's see, currently it's still 3-1 it looks like, but the Phillies have somebody on first? Okay. Uh, anyway, Jacinda, you get that, and give it to Ahmed, and that is an out, so we'll go with that. But so, um, really quickly, the first thing that was on my talking points list, uh, actually has to deal with movies. Um, not, like, making movies or, you know, watching the, well, sort of watching them, but it's particularly with movie theaters. So, uh, as I've mentioned before, I'm actually currently up in Boston. And, um, one of the weird things, I mean, well, it's not really particularly weird, but Boston and the North in general tend to be a lot more expensive than anything down South, like from where I'm from. And movies are no exception. But the weird thing is I, um, I came across the showcase cinemas, but these aren't just any cinemas. These are deluxe cinemas, and okay, I think my, my mic stand is sliding, so give me one moment here as I raise it up a little bit, and then twist, and there we go. Alright, it should be tightened down. We should be good, and I should keep my hands away from the macro keys as I found out later, or well, in the other episode, so gonna just change that there and uh, can he get it and sh that guy's slow so we can get that out pretty easily all right well now we're into the third so let's uh, hope we can make something happen here um yeah well that's a five ball but anyway so um back to the uh the movie theaters so there's like this theater called the showcase deluxe theater it's amazing. It's deluxe. It's so crazy. You know what they do? They're a movie theater, but they're deluxe. So they don't give student discounts. They charge a lot for movie tickets and for, like, you know, concessions. And their concessions are usually smaller portions than you would get at, a, like, a an AMC or a Carmike or whatever, like, you know, the, the kind of... I dang it escape button <sighs> but anyway they like they're a lot more expensive and smaller portions that you would get like at a normal uh like chain movie theater and i went to see the hangover 3 there which it's okay but it's not 
anywhere near as funny as the first one, and I, I might even say the second one was funnier. I mean, it's they at least had a different plot, so it was nice to see like a different kind of take on it, but it doesn't really help the fact that it wasn't particularly, you know, hilarious. It wasn't like the best thing I've ever seen. And I mean, there were some funny moments, but you know, it wasn't super great. Uh, like it wasn't just, it wasn't hilarity. It wasn't all out hilarity as people I like that, um, I've seen or as people have described it. And I mean, I was sitting in the theater half the time and there were these, like there was this one, um, group, like it was, I, I think it was a mom and her two sons, which was for kind of weird to, you know, go see a movie like The Hangover, even though this one had nothing like it, really. Nothing like the first one in it, exactly. I mean, there was, I mean, there are like, you know, uh, hookers and things and drugs and stuff in the movie, but not nearly to the extent to, like that they were in the first one. Um, but, I mean, the mother was, like, laughing hysterically and just crazy at, at, at everything, and I was like, that wasn't funny. It's, I mean, it was sort of okay and they just turned two one about but it was i mean it wasn't that amazing and it annoyed me that that was like a thing because it wasn't uh it wasn't the best thing i've ever seen and so it, it was just that was another part of it that i was kind of confused about but i mean so the deluxe cinema basically they, they it's extraordinarily expensive and uptight and then the way that they actually do it is in the back of the theater, like where the the best seats are, you know, the ones in the very back where you can see the entire screen without like having to, you know, look over to the other or just kind of turn. And basically, I, I like it because you get centered and it's like you see everything. And so the very like the seats in the very back that I would normally take were essentially big. Like it, it was basically like a home theater mixed with a restaurant like they had the the nice big comfy seats then like the the full like the um the folding tray table things that you would see like over in um like a, a classroom and uh like they would have people come out and serve you and i'm actually going to continue and i'm gonna maybe i'll just finish the entire game in this episode because this is actually going pretty quickly but um so they would go and they would uh like bring out the food to the people and so I like I hear like knives and forks clinking in the middle of the movie and I'm like what in the world is this this is not a deluxe experience at all for me because I am listening to people like clink in the background with their silverware and I'm sitting up here with my nice popcorn and soda that's meager in comparison to anywhere else I would try to get it and I am in, I'm trying to enjoy this movie. Now granted, it's not as bad as having people talk in the middle of the movie, but I mean, it was annoying to just ha have that that experience. It's like there are people in the back that I mean, they're obviously paying a lot more than I am already and I paid $24 from just me to go to the movies. I was like, what the what in the world is going on? And it, so that was that like initially was like, all right, so there are people that are paying more than $24 for a single person to go see a movie and are eating dinner in the middle of the movie. It, it's just, it, to me, it was like, well, how was that a strike? But it was just insane. And I can't believe that those things actually still, like, they're, they're doing well. I mean, that was crazy. And then, of course, they're advertising, like, for the uh, the majority of the first part of like the um, like before the previews the intro like the slide or the not the slides but like the the little kind of in in theater advertisement stuff like they're hey we um we're showcase cinemas and you can totally rent out our cinema for like your business needs and such. And then, like, they had this this picture, well, uh, not picture, but a, a movie, like, with somebody up in the front of the um, the auditorium, show it, like, showing a presentation, like a slideshow on the movie theater screen. It's like, you've got to be kidding me. 
somebody's actually going to go and do that? I mean, nobody in their right mind would ever do such a thing. Because it's stupid. It's like, you, you can't do that. That's not right. But, I, I guess some people must just decide to go out. And then, of course, they say at the very end, And if you would like, you can add to your deluxe experience with a feature film. So, everybody knows that any corporate like person that's already got an office to begin with is totally going to want to go rent out a movie theater just so that they can have their their people like in their office go and watch a movie and get like a 20 minute slideshow presentation i mean it's stupid nobody in their right mind should ever do such a thing so i'm i'm ranting because i had to pay 24 dollars first of all to go and actually watch the hangover which is a mediocre movie but i mean it was just in in general it was not i mean it didn't make sense because i could get um, like all of that for like twelve dollars down in north carolina and it took like it, it was just it's just weird and wow that crazy bunt was pretty quick actually because it was supposed to, you know, go flying around every which way, but it hit the wall too quickly, and so things stopped. But, you know, it's fine. We got another run, so we're, we're at two runs, and we have Ahmed over on second. So, that is Ahmed, right? Is it? Yeah, that's Ahmed. Boink! <laughs> I just love that sound. Yahoo! 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 Whoopee! Yahoo! Well, of course, Ernie is the the really slow one, so I'm not going to take a chance with him. So, um, that's three. We've got three in now. Um, screw it. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and crazy bunt with Vicky. <laughs> While I have it, I might as well use it. Yes. Okay. Um, that actually sort of reminds me of another one of... Wow, she's just staring at the ball like it's just there. It's like there's a ball. Okay, 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 that was lucky. <laughs> that was really lucky. If they had thrown it to first, I would have been screwed. Oh my god, that was so lucky. But anyway, um, uh, what was it that I was thinking of? Um, oh yeah, that's right. So, um, the, for some reason, when I was, you know, talking about that, that whole thing, I was, um, the, the when I made the weird sort the sort of weird voice wow really I fouled it I, I used an undergrounder and fouled it that sucked anyway when I was using this yes good when I was using the sort of weird voice um <laughs> oh really I, I hit the screen but it didn't oh, uh, it reminded me of sort of a, a funny little thing that I know of um it's from uh, from one of the the songs that the Ramones did. Um, I don't know if everybody would know the Ramones, but they're the ones that did the uh, the Blitzkrieg Bop or Blitzkrieg Bop. Um, and uh, I mean, I love that song, and I know it's I mean it's a very popular song, so uh, I would hope a lot of other people like it too. But uh, I mean, there there are some other songs that they did that uh, I actually kind of like too. But one of the ones that I always kind of find funny um, when I'm listening to it is uh, Beat on the Brat, which first of all is kind of a crazy name to begin with. I mean, Beat on the Brat, and I mean, the way it goes is Beat on the Brat, Beat on the Brat, Beat on the Brat with a baseball bat, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh ho. But the that last part there is the part that always cracks me up, the oh yeah, oh yeah, oh oh. That, I mean, I just always think that's really kind of funny to listen to. I mean, it's it's kind of a weird mix between, like, a sexual relations and um, just a normal song. But uh, it, it's the, that's just one of the weird things that, you know, you, you find when you listen to certain music. But I like doing that voice. Oh, oh. I just think that's kind of, uh, kind of funny and cool. Um, but then again, I am insane, so... We'll never know truly what my enjoyment from that is, I don't think. And that's a foul ball, but... Uh, now I'm just rambling. 
because I've been recording for, well, I mean, it's it says 20 minutes and 39, well, it's almost 49 seconds, but that's like with another two minutes maybe of like just preparation. Of course, we're only at the bottom of the fourth. Eh. Anyway. I really should probably practice some of the stuff that I plan on saying, but I don't. And no, 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 no. Good thing that was where the the me the, the, the 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 what's it called Tron, the Megatron. No, because that's not it. It's the the um the big the screen thing. That's what I'm gonna call it. The screen thing. Good thing the screen thing was there. Otherwise, that would have been bad. And that is. That's fair. It's fair. Is it? Is it? Is it? Yes. Yes, Pablo. Pablo making a home run. Woohoo! So at this point, I'm kind of wondering whether or not the guy that moved into this uh, the, the like room situation over the weekend while I was not here can actually hear me going crazy as I record this which um, kind of reminds me of the time that I was you know in a roommate situation when I recorded I think it was Gears of War at that point and possibly Ghost Recon 1 I uh, that will grow one I don't remember exactly but um yeah I I don't completely know because it like I don't think I can hear like his music and everything because I'm pretty sure like when I've walked outside of his door like right next to his door um because the like our doors are basically right next to each other but um the way it is is like it's basically at a, a 90 degree angle so um you like you walk down the hallway at the end of the hallway is his room and like right next to that just like straight to the right is my room and so like when I'm opening my door I can sometimes hear his music and I mean they're like the doors aren't really very well see how is that a strike but anyway the doors aren't very well like kind of soundproofed i don't think um but the uh like I, I i don't completely know if like they're they're good enough to stop it through the um the bathroom because like the the i'm closest to the bathroom like i don't think he would be able to hear me through the door and that would have been a home run if it weren't for the uh the big oh god oh god this isn't good this isn't good no oh, I knew I should have stopped her I knew I should have stopped her that was she actually hit it so hard it bounced off of the giant TV and back to the to the second baseman in time for him to get me out that is just really unlucky and weird at the same time anyway I mean it's not that big a deal because it's the top of the fifth and I'm already up six to zero, so I. Okay, well that was me sporadically hitting the escape button, and as such forfeiting my action, my last swing. Anyway, um, but yeah, so I, like I always I'm worrying about you know my um the my current uh the the volume. Yes, that's the word I'm looking for, volume, and uh, whether or not it is uh actually you know audible to the guy in the room next to me but um i don't think it is so it's okay it's all good he hasn't knocked on my door so i don't think it's really any big issue at the moment maybe later but not right now in a world where baseball bats rule all and now i'm trying to shout cast for no particular re well not shout cast but um movie voiceover commentation as Maximiliano, well, he's not Maximiliano, I know Maximiliano, but as Max uh, and Diction have done in the past with uh, plants, with the suicide survival, um, yeah, so, actually that kind of reminds me of something else, so this is, this is how my, my process works, even though I do have a list of things that I want to talk about, uh, talk about, and even though I've only gotten to one on that list, I believe, I may have touched on a few other things by accident, but I don't think I did. Let me see. Um, yeah, I think I only touched on one of them. Yeah, I only touched on one of them. However, I do actually want to kind of get to one of the other ones before I finish this episode. 
simply because, I mean, it was kind of relevant to the whole movie theater sh seeing thing. Um, well, actually, there are a few that are kind of relevant, but, um, actually, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and skip to that. So, um, while I was, you know, in the previews, uh, but, like, this was before the, the deluxe office space use of our cinema with feature films at the end, um, they showed off a, like, a, a Teen Wolf commercial, and I thought it was hilarious. Because the slogan for the Teen Wolf commercial was, This Might Hurt. Oh, man, I and, um, I would completely agree. It may hurt your eyes, and brain, and face, and generally your entire body if you watch Teen Wolf. To any Teen Wolf fans out there, it, I mean, it's, it's another, like, werewolf show. You've got to stop this, like... Werewolves and vampires, I mean, yes, I was a, I was a fan of the vampire scene. I was a fan of it before any of the whole Twilight stuff came out, actually. There was a, a, call, a show called Moonlight. Um, I mean, I don't know why I liked it particularly. I was, like, I don't, I don't know, like, I watched it and then, like, I think it was Kid Nation, something like that, where they, they would send out kids in the middle of the desert for a game show kind of thing. Anyway, I watched those two shows at one point, and I, I, I really liked them. But, the like, that was the era of, you know, it was okay. Like, the vampires were okay, and they were decent. And then Twilight came out and was like, Buy decent vampires and vampire stories. Hello, glitter. And it just got annoying. And then came Fifty Shades of Grey, and then came the end of the world. Um, so, basically what I'm trying to say here is, I did not swing at that. <laughs> anyway, um, I, I just thought that it was, I mean, it, it, the whole supernatural thing got really out of hand and really should have been, you know, n not as nearly overused as it was. But, um... I, I just thought that the whole Team Wolf This Might Hurt thing was hilarious because it probably will hurt anyone and all who actually watch it. Um, possibly like my own commentary, but that's listening, so I'm sorry if your ears are bleeding. Um, that did have nothing to do with me. Uh, I, I don't believe I know how that occurred. If you need to see an ER, I would recommend doing that. Uh, if it's really bad, then it's probably your best decision. Anyway, um, moving past my terrible, awkward commentary, um, I wanted to quickly touch on Zach Galifianakis as well. Uh, I was talking about, like, I went to see The Hangover. I actually also went to see, um, the, uh, the new Star Trek movie at, at, at an AMC, so I paid significantly less over the weekend as well. But, uh, but Zach Galifianakis, I wanted to touch on him. I actually saw that he, uh, he cut his beard recently, which is kind of interesting. But, um, the, I, I really just wanted to kind of make a pitch because he uh, he actually was a, an NC State student. I don't think he actually graduated, but anyway, um, I thought that was you know a little thing that was cool. And I was an NC well, I am an NC State student currently doing an internship in Boston. But I mean that's you know just how stuff works. But I thought it was cool because you know I mean that that was where the whole Wolfpack thing came from. It was you know him being an NC State um, a, a sort of alumnus. I guess, because he didn't really graduate, I don't believe, so he was, I mean, does, do you call people that don't graduate alumni? I'm, I'm not completely sure, but we'll call him an alumnus anyway, because he's successful and rich, so that's, uh, I mean, that's pretty much going to be the end of this episode, I believe. Uh, that was the scoreboard, so we, we hit five and the four in the top of the fourth. Anyway, and here's our simulation, so Wombats beat Monsters. The fishies beat the bombers. That's not surprising because bombers suck. Um, giants beat the melon heads. Very, very close game there. And we don't have a palindrome for the first time. We've actually kind of gotten some change up. Of course, the bombers are still zero and ten, and we're still ten and zero. But we now uh, actually the monsters and wombats are tied. That's an interesting change uh, change uh, of events, and I'm not completely sure what I'm saying and then the uh, Red Sox got destroyed by me 
So the Giants are in sixth, the Red Sox are in seventh, the Bombers in eighth. Okay, and now it's really kind of just up to the guys in second, third, fourth, and fifth to kind of, you know, pick it up and figure out which ones are going to be uh, ahead of the others. So let's go to our schedule, see who we're playing next. The Monsters. Well, that basically means that... Um, What's their names? Um, the Wombats. As long as they win their next game, they will be in second. Because I guarantee you the monsters will lose. Because I mean, why wouldn't? Why would they win? <laughs> that that'd be that's a funny that's a funny thought. <laughs> they cannot win. That was a really weird sounding voice at the end there. But anyway, we'll go ahead and save it for now. And I would like to thank you all for watching. This will be coming out tomorrow on the 29th. If not, you can feel free to troll me. Granted, you probably will anyway, assuming there are enough trolls that are watching this. But, um, yeah, that's going to be about it for this episode. So thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Adios.